So pillar number one is slow the flow, which we're obviously doing here. We want to manage our water and hold it in the landscape for as long as we can. Pillar number two is about let all plants grow. So understanding the role that green growing plants, in particular green and growing, play in our system, and particularly the ones that we like to call weeds, and understanding the role they're playing in building our soil, building our fertility, balancing lacking minerals or too many minerals. Um, that's right. <laughs> Pillar number three, care for where the animals go. So understanding uh, the role that animals play in our landscape, particularly our productive ones. So cattle, sheep, goats, understanding um, that there are parts of our landscape that are sensitive to them and we need to manage their stock carefully in those areas. And as well that our livestock are tools to use. You know, we need to manage them as tools, understand that they're playing a role. They can't fix everything on their own, but they can play a role to form part of the greater ecosystem uh, that nature builds our systems. Uh, pillar number four, filtration is a must know. This is an example of filtration. So plants managing the water and more importantly, the fertility that's always moving in our landscape. No matter what we can do, gravity is taking our stuff away. And so these filtration areas have green plants here to filter the fertility and in some cases sediment that we have moving capture it and stop it from running down into the Mary River and off to the ocean where it's of no value to us as productive farmers. And then pillar number five, which is return to the top to recycle a lot, which is about understanding that gravity, no matter how many of these we do or the best farming we can possibly do, gravity will always be taking our stuff away. And nature had in place that animals would transport that the birds would go back to the mountains of the night after a day of harvesting. The kangaroos would go back. The fertility they collected down here eating would be taken back up, they poo, they pee and eventually die at the top of the system and this cycle of fertility would start all over again. As farmers, unfortunately, a lot of our practices have done the opposite and we lose that fertility every day. 